I am coming to you from the roof of Aqualand. And when I say I'm standing on a roof, you would be fooled because look at this. It looks like we are on a hillside. This soil mixture is actually kind of unique. That means we went above and beyond to create a green, environmentally friendly building. We can't handle all that runoff. It's overwhelming our streams, our lake, our sewer systems. It's caught backing up into people's basement. It's causing issues. So Aquascape, we were ahead of the curve. Hey, what's up everybody? Ed the Pond Professor here. I am coming to you from the roof of Aqualand, St. Charles, Illinois, the water garden capital of the world. This is a vegetated roof. The reason I'm up here today is because we are redoing it. We're not ripping everything off. What I'm talking about is we've been in this facility for 15 years. This was built in 2006 and it is a LEED certified facility. So a LEED certification, if you remember, I've talked about this in the past, stands for leadership in energy and environmental design. That means we went above and beyond normal construction methods to create a green, environmentally friendly building. And this all starts right here. This is what I'm talking about. So on top of this roof, we have a soil mixture. This soil mixture is actually kind of unique. This is like an expanded clay media. Very, very light, very porous. This is gonna have high surface area. It's actually gonna absorb some of the water during rain events. So the reason that we want this light soil is because we don't want excess weight on top of the roof. So remember this, when we're talking about having six inches of soil on the roof here, this weighs many, many tons with all this media on top, including all the vegetation. So we have to be thinking of all these. Now, if I deconstruct what's happening here is we have a rubber membrane on top of the steel structure itself. The rubber membrane is exactly the same stuff that we have inside of our ponds. This is an EPDM system. We have thousands of square feet of EPDM on top of our roof. Then on top of that, there's a drainage board to allow for drainage to take place. There's a geotextile material. Then we have six inches on average of soil. Problem with what has happened over the past 15 years is this soil has migrated over all that time. So instead of having six inches, some areas might have three, other areas may have nine inches. So what this is doing is creating areas where we have uneven loading basically. So what we want to do is we want to level all that stuff out. So the other thing I want to point out here is the reason behind what we're doing. So right over here, the center section of our building is not green, it does not have this living structure on top of it. This is a traditional roof system. So what happens in this application is during a heavy rain event, water is going to fall on this. This is impermeable. Water doesn't soak into it. It's going to run off very, very quickly, literally in minutes. On a green roof like this, rainwater is going to fall on it. It's going to soak into that six inch layer of soil and it's going to slowly discharge it over many many hours actually many many days this is helping to alleviate some of the problems of flooding issues in and around the area so one of the biggest issues that we see in our urban environments is we're having a high amount of flood events and that's because if you look around when you're flying into o'hare airport you look across the horizon far as you can see you're going to see roofs you're going to see roadways you're going to see parking lots it's going to be concrete asphalt steel all of these are impermeable so when it rains it immediately goes off as runoff and we can't handle all that runoff it's overwhelming our streams our lakes our sewer systems it's caught backing up into people's basement it's causing issues so lead certification environmental design green infrastructure this entire movement is trying to offset that so aquascape we were ahead of the curve so what we've done here is we wanted to create an environmentally friendly building so we wanted to have all of this soil all this biodiversity on the roof of our building to help eliminate heat island effect, help cut back on some of that stormwater runoff. And this is where it all starts. It starts at the top of the watershed. So if we could manage it right here on top, it's gonna help everything further downstream. Now what I wanna talk about, if we walk through here and we wanna look at some of the other things that we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna start with redistributing the soil. We're also gonna start removing all this old irrigation. So you can see all these pipes have been exposed. That's part of that redistribution process. The wind, the water, the movement of all the soils has kind of moved all that soil 
soil. So we're gonna remove all these pipes. They have been damaged over the years. So we're gonna reestablish that irrigation system so we can get life back to the roof. The next step that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna come in with a fertilization plan. And the reason being is six inches of soil that we have currently on top of here is fairly inorganic and it's because of that expanded clay media. So we don't have a lot of organic compounds in the soil to support life. So we're gonna come in with a fertilization plan to kind of reestablish the life-giving properties of the soil to help support all the new plant material that we're doing over the top of this. What I love about this entire project, this roof has been here for 15 years. It's functioned phenomenally for us. Now it's time to step everything up. One of the other things that the team is gonna be doing here is putting in some fall protection. So what this is, it's gonna be a series of posts and pillars going all the way around the outside perimeter of the building. Reason we're gonna be doing this is obviously we're gonna have a team of people working on top of the roof for many, many weeks. And on top of that, we're gonna have teams coming in doing periodic maintenance. So from a safety perspective, we want somebody to be safe. They can clip on, if they fall off, they're gonna be safe. We're always thinking about that first and foremost. Normally, we have not done any maintenance on, up on the roof. This has been a native Illinois prairie. We've literally, we planted it, walked away. The only time we're coming up here is to rescue all the crazy geese that are laying all the eggs up here. Every April and May, we're trying to protect all those babies. But moving forward, what we wanna do is we wanna take care of the roof. We wanna make sure it lasts not only another 15 years, but another 50. Because the longer this is operational, the better it's gonna be for us as well as the environment.